You done me, Foley? <laughs> I'm sorry, can we cut? Well, yeah, we, you're directing, say, uh, Tropic Thunder. Right. Very successful movie, really funny. You're in it and you're directing yeah. yourself and you've got uh, Robert Downey Jr., Jack Buck, everybody's yeah. running around here. What do you say to those guys? Do you say to them, um, could be funnier? <laughs> <laughs> really, you should just sort of land that line. What do you do? Right. Um, honestly, those guys are so good. As a director, all you're trying to do is bring the best out of them. And I, I become an audience for them. I think any good comedy director is appreciating what he's seeing and trying to get that, that performance. So for me, when I'm doing something like that, I'm enjoying what those guys are doing and trying to guide them in any way I can. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I know as an actor, I want a director who's giving me some sort of uh, opinion and saying, hey, go for this or try this. But you have to know that it's not because there's well, no your, audience. Right. There's no audience. That's what you are. You're the audience in that moment. When you first do Meet the Parents with right. Robert De Niro, Right. He's not known for being funny. But he, see, he's a guy, I think he always has been funny. Even in his serious roles, he's been funny. Even in Raging Bull. Hilarious. He's, got, he's just really taxi driver. <laughs> really, he's just sitting there. He's a there cut up. Him. He is a laugh riot. <laughs> he really is. Um, that De Niro, wow. <laughs> you. But, he, but I'm telling you. you, but he is, though, like that you. That thing, <laughs> you know, we, we watch him and we enjoy the series, but that's what's so great about him is just that twinkle. There's something. That is, all, there's always something funny. Even Taxi Driver, there's funny moments where you go, this guy's so weird, it's funny. You know, I, so he has that, I, he has a sense of that. But then where are people seeing this darkness in right. you? And me? I don't know. Where is it? I don't know. Where there's a doppelganger out there. Have they just all been renting permanent midnight? <laughs> <laughs> and they just... I think they're just they, looking for an angle. You know what I mean? They're looking for something to write about because it's kind of boring. It's just like, I'm just a guy. It's, you know what I mean? I'm, it's nothing to really I don't think really so because that whole into. thing... Yeah, you, know, you grow up in New York right. with parents who are funny. Right. Yes. So what was this house like when you were having dinner? Were you sitting there, your sister and when you? When we weren't chained to the bed, Peter? When you, well, I just didn't want, we I thought we would our, not bring that up. That, that was slipped under the door. This is Tower Heist we're food? talking about. This isn't, this, this um, isn't. I thought you wanted to get real here. I really, yeah. but not that real. Okay. <laughs> I thought it would just be that maybe, um. I mean, Jerry Stiller and Ann Mary, they're, they're part of yes. these hilarious people. Yeah. So I think I'm, I'm hearing you're going to say, no, they didn't. No, they were great. It's like, first of all, my How did they my laugh? Parents, How did they laugh? How did they laugh? If, you, if something happened at the table and you said something that Well, first that of all, you're funny. assuming there was a table. <laughs> okay, Peter, there was no table. There was no table. No, there was, sat on the there was a counter and there was Chinese food <laughs> from the great Shanghai on 105th and Broadway that, was, that, that we were lucky to get. Um, no, they, it was a show business household, so they, there really was a lot of traveling and... You know, we'd go on the road with them if we weren't in school, or we'd, if we stayed home, we stayed with our housekeeper, Hazel, who would take care of us. But, you know, it's your parents. When they're your parents, you don't think of them. Like, my kids, you know, I'm, I'm just their dad. They don't, they're, they're not going, wow, you're, you're a hilarious dad. Or, I mean, you're, they're funny to, you know, you're funny with them when you're funny in the way you're playing with your kids. But my, you know, this was the 70s. We went to Est. They took us to Est. We did transcendental meditation. It was all crazy stuff going on. <laughs> You know, I might, <laughs> um, it just was like, you know, we're going to seeing Lola Falana at the, you know, uh, <laughs> really? the plaza. Yeah, yeah, it's just crazy stuff happening. What an aberrant child <laughs> it is. So uh, maybe it explains, that explains so much. Some of it, yeah. Um, maybe. But it was I, fun. It was fun. The, 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 the fun of it was going, we loved seeing them go do things like going to the Mike Douglas show. And, in, in, you know, they did the Mike Douglas show in Philadelphia and we take a limousine and have. It was like a ritual. They have a lobster, bookbinders, do the Mike Douglas show, they co-host. Then we go home. You know, we, that was exciting to us, and, and it was fun. And then there was stress, I think, because they were doing their, they had to write their act. They had to, you know, they were self-creators, and, and they had to go on Ed Sullivan. And, you know, imagine having to do and that. And it's stress. That's serious stress, yeah, to have to go and, and get asked back, and you're 40 million people watching, and is Ed going to like you and call you back the next Did they ever say uh, to you and your sister, uh, do you think we were funny? You know, they were always working together and trying stuff out. They would rehearse in the living room. So we would hear them rehearsing. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you'd see, you know, what they were doing, and sometimes, like, they'd do, like, an argument sketch, and we'd think they were arguing for real. We wouldn't know. <laughs> and then sometimes they'd be arguing for real. We'd go, oh, no, they're doing a sketch. <laughs> it's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Wow. No, it's the reality lines blurred a lot. Well, let's talk about the driven part of you then, okay. since we've gone past the, right. uh, the serious, but the driven. 
Look at um, you, look I have what's had a full-time driver for about oh, two years. <laughs> I find it helps my stress <laughs> level because I can do emails. <laughs> I can it just makes it, do phone calls. You're driven by driving. About driver. 40 minutes in and out of the city, so I get so much done. <clears throat> no, I mean, you're making a movie now yeah. uh, in Atlanta called Neighborhood Watch, yeah. which is aliens hitting the neighborhood, yes. right? Yeah. So that's it. And then playing maybe David O. Selznick during his Gone with the Wind period for yeah. HBO. Talk about driven. Yeah. That guy was true. What what happens where you decide let's well let's get Ben Stiller to play this producer of Gone with the Wind. You know, Orrin Moverman mm -hmm. uh, wrote this amazing script, and it was his idea really. He's just I just think he's a great writer, and he also wants to take chances with it, and not just do a straight ahead biopic because who really knows David O. Selznick as you know as a, a person now? He's an idea, you know, what a producer, what a Hollywood yeah, producer, the guy know. who made Gone with the Wind. So what he sort of embodies, because he was a very, uh, there's a real dichotomy of lots of different things going on with that guy. Um, so that's, that's how that came about. Well, then this is, as it's always the last question here. Yes. And it's always in song. Okay. And, um, Wait, what? You did it before, but I'm Are not going to remind okay. you. Uh, I ask everybody. It doesn't matter whether right. it's Clint Eastwood or it's uh, you or it's somebody who sings. I just need to hear a song that's in your head. I ben totally Stiller. must have blocked you blanked out on it because otherwise you just would have said, Do you remember what I'm I not say? doing that show. Oh, I'm wow. not doing that at all. Um, wow. You must sing to your kids. Uh, I, yeah, what have I sung to my kids? And they, anytime I've ever sang to my kids, they've asked me to stop. Well, I won't. <laughs> I just, They've got uh, Daddy, you're weird. That's what the great comforting uh, thing about being here is. Our love is here to stay. Is that good? It's very, it's very clear. Our love is here to stay. Not for a year, but forever and a day. Oh, Gibraltar may crumble. The Gibraltar may crumble. They're only made of clay. But our love is here to stay. Stay, stay, stay. See now, stay. There, that was it. it. I wasn't convinced Just, in the beginning, but you. now I am. I really um, am. There. You will edit out all the notes I had to go to before. No, I got those the last will go one. in. That will be. It will live forever on YouTube. Okay. Ben, thank you. Thank you so of course much. it will. Yes, of course. That's yes. what happens. Uh, ben Stiller stay, attempts to sing 14 stay. million hits. You did. <laughs> <laughs> there it is.